come on now to the other end of Portsmouth to visit Brian Wall. Brian won the Combine in 1996. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Keith. What system do you race your birds on? Strictly widowwood. Um, I've toyed with the idea of racing with ends once or twice, but pressure to work, etc. Widowwood is so easy, yeah. and I do enjoy it. Yeah. Um, it's a waste of good, good ends, but you know you've got to sort of uh, fit the management in to suit your, your work and your family, yeah, your life, et yeah. What's one or two of your best performances? Um, well, I've had some fairly decent performances. I suppose the best performances. Uh, I was fourth in Ants National winning the section um, and the following year I was 12th in Ants National and won the section again with the same pigeon uh, which I call best best pals but or well, the Nance cock really brilliant pigeon uh, he was also second London combine he won the Fed two or three times he won the Cha Hampshire um, Championship Club uh, first SMT combine uh, 6,000 pigeons won, won that by over 30 yards that was a good performance um, well, won the feds yeah. on numerous occasions. Uh, combine this year, the uh, BB and you know, Ants Combine. Uh, was first combine with a, a young staff Van Riet Cock. Yeah, where was that from? That was from Weirdy Bridge. It well won that. Won the fed by about 20 minutes. Club by half an hour, fed by about 20 minutes, and it won the combine mm. by quite a margin. Good, good five minutes. Yeah, absolutely so brilliant, a, mate. Good performance that one. What a young cock. It's a nice pigeon, Brian. What's this one? This is um, a Staff Van Reed cock. Um, it's possibly the best pigeon uh, I've got racing at the moment. Um, he's, he's bred me winners uh, and he's won the Fed this year. He, he was first surely in open, six or seven hundred pigeons, uh, 94, 95. He was second surely in open, eight hundred and odd pigeons. Um, uh, he's won me a, a, a stack of money. Uh, he loves to fly this pigeon. As soon as you let him out, he's on his own, flying on his own. Yeah, what sort of distance is he best at? I never, I've never raced him over the water. As, as you know, we, we, we're on the coast, so a lot of our races um, uh, are over the water. But this pigeon, uh, I've kept down... Well, I'll tell a lie, I, I sent him over the water once, and he was, he was miles behind. But uh, down the coast, he's virtually um, unbeatable in the club. He's... he's, he's you know, if he if he isn't first, he's second or third. He's a, a magnificent pigeon. puts up performances. Gives everything. This is Brian's very smart Widowwood loft. It's 28 foot long, four sections, and all the birds are trapped for open doors. This is a scene inside one of the Widowwood sections. Brian has the heaters, and uses a deep bitter on the floor only in the winter months and when the birds are breeding. How many cocks do you race on the widow then, Brian? Uh, 30, 32. Yeah, um, and what distance is you race them up to? Well, I, I strictly like the sprint to middle distance. Yeah. Um, I have uh, very occasionally, I mean, the most I, I've occasionally sent to Paw, I don't do very well at Paw. No. I've never professed to, uh, I don't enjoy it. I prefer, you know, it, racing to me, if I could get the cocks home, all home within 10, 15 minutes, close up, You're happy. that would be happy for yeah. me. When do you pair up? I pair up, this year I was a bit late, um, I usually pair up early January, um, I let them rear one round, uh, I take the ends away, I leave the cocks with a, with a young'un, I put all the babies with the ends in one section and the, the hens will pump all the babies up on the floor yeah. um, and then I repair them and let them sit for five to six days yeah, about and I take training. the ends away. Training, I'll train once the weather starts warming up a little bit, I'll train the widowed cocks as, as often as I can, um, no more than about. 10, 10 tosses, 20, 30 miles at the most. Yeah. Um, by that time, I've usually gone flying pretty well around the loft. Yeah. Um, Do you show the hen on Friday? Yeah, I always show the hen, except when we go over the water on a Thursday, which unfortunately, living on the coast, we, a lot of our races are Thursday basketing. Yeah. Um, and I tend not to show the hen uh, too much then. It just excites them and they're in the basket for two days. So. Yeah. How long do they get the hen for when they come home? It, it depends on what race it is. If, it, if I'm racing down the coast in, in the Portsmouth Fed, they'll get the end for anywhere between uh, 15 and half an, half an hour. Um, over the water, 
um, if they've had a hard race, they've been away since the Thursday night. Um, they can have it for, for two or three hours, depending, you know, depending on the race. This is my checker pied cock. It's a Van Reet um, from Tony Marden. Uh, the, or the parents are from Tony Marden. I've read him. Uh, he won the combine uh, from Weirdy Bridge, Young Bird Combine, last race of the season. Um, and he, 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 as I said earlier, he won it. He well won it. He won the club by over half an hour, the Fed by about 20 minutes, and the combine by five minutes. Uh, he was driving his hen at the time. His hen had went to uh, the Young Bird National, and uh, with a Young Bird, he'd read a Young Bird, and uh, he, he, he was driving his hen when he went to uh, the Weirdy Bridge. I've always liked this pigeon, and he only had about two races. I liked him so much, I didn't really want to race him as a young bird because I'm not a, a big uh, young bird flyer as such. But uh, I felt he ought to have a race, um, and I, I didn't really want to send him because I think this pigeon's got a, a big future. Yeah, but but, I, bet, I bet you're glad you sent him now, Brian. Well, I am glad I sent him because he actually, see, he paralysed the, 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 the Fed and the club, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. he, he, he proved to me. Um, that I was right that he, he has got yeah, real potential. A real quality pigeon, Brian. Yeah, he's, he's, I say he's, got a, he's got a good future. This is my young bird loft. It's uh, 12 foot by 5 foot, um, pantile roof as you can see. Um, it's got two sliding doors at the front, um, but I've actually got a, um, a homemade Sputnik on there with a, a stall trap in it and a trap to that. Um, I find that uh, uh, I, can, I can catch them quicker that way. Um, it's five foot wide, which isn't too uh, deep, so they're not wild. Um, and I've had great success. At the moment, it's empty. How many babies do you keep each year in Brian? I usually breed between uh, 40 and 60. Um, mm. The last couple of years, I've had 60. Um, losses, as we like with everybody else, you know, you tend to lose um, a fair amount these days. Um, How about feeding them? Feeding, I, I use a young bird, no maize. Um, from when I've about a month after I've weaned them, um, I gradually introduce the young bird no maize. I'll give them depurative on the morning, young bird maize on an evening, about an ounce and a half a day. Yeah. I don't keep them short. Um, How whilst about training? Racing, tr whilst I start training and racing, um, they'll, they'll, they'll get uh, had maize on the later races. Um, but generally, um, if it's a decent summer, um, I'll, I'll feed young bird no maize. Yeah. I don't think they need the maize. This is um, my Chaka Cock, another good pigeon of mine. Uh, he won the Fed, um, over 6,000 pigeons. He's won the Hampshire Two Bird uh, a couple of times. I think he was second. Uh, he was third in the £1,000 Open race last year. Uh, and he's, he's put up, he's got five or six firsts. Um, Beautiful pigeon, Widowed Cock. Widowed yeah. Cock, yeah. He's, his father was a great pigeon, 44. Um, he won the Hampshire Two Bird, he won the Fed, great pigeon. Uh, I lost him at Paw, should never have sent him, not my distance, it was yeah. stupid. I, I regret sending him and I sent him and I lost him. Um, but he, th this pigeon's bred uh, a winner, his first nestor bred a winner. Um, he's a lovely pigeon. These are Brian's stock pigeons. And these were paired up at Christmas time. What families of pigeons you keep then, Brian? Uh, I've, I've mainly got Jansons and Van Reets. Um, I've, I've bought some lovely pigeons from Tony Marden, um, mm. and I'm really well pleased with them. They're the Van Reets. The Jansons I've got uh, from uh, various sources, uh, and uh, that's the main basis of my pigeons, Van Reets and Jansons. Yeah. How, many, how many pairs do you keep stock birds? Uh, more than I should, probably. I've got 15 pairs, um, but I did buy... Uh, three pairs of Nulats in last year to breed off this year. I like to try um, different families now and then. I think you can't stand selling pigeons. If you don't try different uh, families, you don't know no. if your family's good enough. Um, but uh, I'm very, very pleased with the van rates. All right, Brian, thanks very much for letting me come and see a pigeons day, mate.